honestly, there's a study where uh, it says that, you know, more cops actually die from, I don't know, than, than gunfire and on the line of duty deaths. What are you getting at? I just nothing. I, I'm just saying, you know, uh, let's get those numbers up, baby. The property owners who have properties there choose just not to rent it at all. Yeah, kill them. Kill those motherfuckers in a video game. Sorry. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Murder those motherfuckers in the street. Let the streets, let the streets soak in their fucking red capitalist bloods, dude. This is like unimaginable wealth, dude. How the fuck do people make this much money? So I recently posted a video about Hassan, who I think is probably the worst political streamer just up there with like Tucker Carlson or Steven Crowder. And I will admit to this, I was very ignorant in the fact that I thought that I could make a video about Hassan himself and some of the things that he said recently um, and void that from kind of the politics of his content, which is very impossible because he only yaps about his political takes that are usually wrong. Now keep in mind, and this is something that I was getting, I guess, comments about in the last video is I consider myself to be an independent I would say that most of my personal beliefs that I don't really indulge this channel in are very left-leaning. I, I consider myself far more left than right. And now one thing that was funny is this video was pretty much hand delivered to the Hassan oh. audience and it shows in the statistics of the video, which I'm cool with. No publicity is bad publicity. That's an absolute lie. There's absolutely bad publicity. But I was getting comments like I'm anti-Semitic by my thumbnails and titles, which I assume they're referring to my very first video, which is very much so me shitting on the right wing ideology for about 20 minutes. So pop off, I guess. But on top of that, I was critiqued on my ignorance of how I address socialism in that video. And that is fair. That is 100% on me I wanted to try to talk about this topic in a sense that was digestible to the mass audience I didn't want to instantly have a bunch of people click off because I was talking about politics in depth or in socialism in depth which is kind of greedy and that YouTube mind state of me I guess but obviously you cannot really talk about Hassan without talking about socialism or politics because that is all that his life revolves around and neither that video or this video are shining any kind of a negative light on socialism. I think socialism has its perks, it has its benefits. Realistically, I would probably align myself more with the views of a capitalist because that's what I grew up in. I don't know, you know, the depth of socialism, neither does 99.9% .9 of the comments on my last video. Getting all that necessary muck out of the way, I do still want to talk about Hassan because he fucking sucks. Also, I was going to use my camera for this, but fuck you. Uh, this comment specific, I'm using the gameplay just for you, so feel special. So the premise of the former video is that Hassan is just a massive hypocrite. And I still very much think that this is the truth because everything Hassan does is hypocritical. I mean, we could start and talk about him throwing shade at Sniper Wolf and the immense wealth that she has with her expensive home. The doors open both ways. Yes, and there are glass doors, which is absolutely horrible for audio quality. Dude, this is like unimaginable wealth, dude. How the fuck do people make this much money? 2.9 million dollars near Las Vegas, dude. Oh my fucking lord, dude. You can buy so, a fucking castle in Las Vegas. And then a month later, he buys an even more expensive home. Or we could talk about how the many of times he said that wealth should be distributed more evenly so that people can thrive more and have more product ownership while simultaneously stating publicly on a podcast that he would use his excess wealth for himself. Inequality that you see. What is, what's an ethical way for you as someone who makes a lot of money to use your surplus money? I just use it on myself and I give a lot to charities and shit. Right, but surely you have a lot left over. I do, yeah. And then he himself brings up the notion of the more ownership in a workplace and more ownership in your autonomy in the workplace. And then when he's asked about, you know, paying editors and paying moderators, he doesn't do that because he wants to keep that money for himself because he is a capitalist and he's a hypocrite. Person is getting one third of the overall revenue. Okay, that yeah. is inherently a socialist formation. He also has autonomy. He also gets to say, I want to do it on this day. I want to do it on that day. Okay, I want to do the podcast on this day. These are things that we democratically decide. Now, okay. this is a cooperative corporation. That is actually closer to like what is literally socialism, at least in a corporation, a socialist organization of the economy within the corporation than anything else that you have described. I'm referring to, you bring the podcast up as one third. Are you paying, right, a percentage or something proportional to the millions that you're making off Twitch, right? Is that, a, is that something you're doing as a socialist, right? Does that carry over to your Twitch? So sure, I believe you for your to podcast. Who? To you, who, to what? 
to like, editors, to the, moderators? Yes. So you're paying moderators or a head of moderation? No, at not editors and not moderators. I found this post here on Reddit from four years ago of somebody that's done editing work for Hassan, never made money off of it, and was kind of ghosted by Hassan after accruing him a lot of views through his edits. I don't know about you, but that surely doesn't sound like somebody who cares about the Commonwealth to me. That sounds like somebody that cares about his business and himself. Because at the end of the day, that's what Hassan is doing. He is building a business. He is building a farm content of just watching other people's videos, fully just sitting there, re-uploading them to YouTube with his face in the bottom corner. Now, that's one thing. Reaction content is its own cup of tea. I do reaction content because I find it fun. I try to add a lot more than just sitting up in a corner, but I digress. And back on the topic of getting asked about his excess wealth, he talks about how he would reinvest it into his business. Theoretically, what you, could you do? I mean, I, I basically... Um... I basically do what I what I've been doing, but at a larger scale now. You know what I mean? Try to support union funds. So you're paying moderators or a head of moderation? No, at not editors and not moderators. Try to support union funds. At not editors and not moderators. Try to support union funds. Do fundraisers and reinvest it into my own business, I guess, technically. Mm. I just go off vibes. <laughs> I just, vibes. I okay, so lefties prefer vibes over all things. Not, and... not, this is this is just my own personal perspective on the matter. Well, I like thinking. vibes. You know, yeah, you could say along with the fundraisers and the charity shore, but capitalists have been donating to charities and stuff for how long now? It's not like that's a socialist thing to do. But he talks about, you know, I would reinvest it back into my own business. That's like the most capitalistic thing you could say. You're going to take the funds from these content farms you're making. You're going to funnel them back into your streams and your business to make them bigger and better and get more money. Money from them how is this not capitalistic you, could someone please explain this to me and you know when it's brought up like when it's asked like you know as a socialist basically how are you uh, when you're becoming this very wealthy man how are you planning to use that in socialism which is kind of what I touched on in my last video and here he says that he thinks the questions basically just stupid but be more transparent with your income nobody needs that much what are you doing with it how do you support left-wing politics very uh, very practical with your money this notion that like what are you doing with your money is Dumb as fuck. I too think the question is stupid. I mean, I wouldn't want to work in the streaming and YouTube industry. While yes, it's a lot of money, I wouldn't want to be asked how I'm spending that money because that is a stupid question. However, I think the question is justified when we're talking about Hassan himself, who is constantly preaching about other companies and conglomerates and talking about, you know, how malicious they are with their finances in the Western economic, you know, state. Dude, like, oh my God. Like, can we talk about like the political and economic state of the world right now? while when he's asked about his wealth and his all around capitalistic living style he thinks the question's stupid that's when i think it's contradictory and in the theme of the video hypocritical i was searching and a lot of the clips that i wanted to use i just can't find i don't know if he's got like a sick ass team to take this stuff down but like i said in the start of this video i will admit my approach in the last video was kind of sloppy i thought that i could separate the two when they're very much interlinked i still don't think that video was in bad faith though i still think hassan is a hypocritical asshole and he's building up this capitalistic system of wealth while slamming capitalism itself and that's just that's just my belief america deserved 9 11 dude fuck it i'm saying it we, we fucking totally brought it on ourselves dude holy shit